So I'm just going to have a walk to the shop. I'm going to take you with me. I'm going to go post Richard Coxon. Your stickers. Sorry I'm a bit behind. <laughs> I'm going to catch me scratching as well while I'm there. I'm still playing these same scratch cards people from Mother's Day. Thanks Kim. I should keep winning five, six quid and playing more scratch cards. So I'm going to get some scratches. Um, post my letters. Like I said, Richard Coxon, yours is coming your way. Take you with me for a walk. I might see something interesting. Might not know, but we may do. His mates have come back. Look how close I can get to these. Hi, duckies. You want some bread? You want some bread? I'll sort you out when I get back. Come on then. Are you going to come close? No. Because we feed them every day. They're here every day. So, yeah. And as you can hear, Paul's on his digger. So, Samara is looking mighty fine. I reckon, in a week's time, we'll be finished. Shut up, Gypsy. <laughs> Little Gypsy over there thinking she's ten dogs. <laughs> so, yeah, look at this. Second half going in. Look at all these pictures. Look at it. It's almost finished it. I can't believe it. Lisa's always hard grafting, like always doing all hard work. Paul's just sat in his digger doing now. Lisa's showing it up from shop. She's like, well, I need milk. That's it. I don't buy milk. I'm buying nobody's milk. I'm carrying it back. It's fucking heavy. Bread. I'll pick up bread for anyone. <laughs> That's about it. So I'm walking to the shop. I'm just going to tell you about the news we had today. If you see it, Gareth chose to put it in. If you don't see it, this footage will be ain't been and you won't see it. So we found out today that Gareth has a, a lump inside his right eyeball. 1.3 centimetres. Big it is. Um, I mean, he's had a rough week anyway. So... That's why I've done hardly any vlogging. So when he's taking his meds, it's hard for me to vlog without disturbing him. So, just is what it is, I suppose. It's like now he went, if you wait an hour, I'll try and drive you to the shop. I'm like, it's not even a mile away, I'll walk. Skews traffic. Celebrity so news. Go post my subscribers, their um, <laughs> stickers. Thanks guys for buying them, we do appreciate it. So yeah, if you see this, you see it. Um, and other than the lump, and it's 1.3 centimetres, we don't know anything else. So, he's worried though. He might be so. But we're going to deal with it head on, whatever it is. I'm going to buy him some sweets. Maybe some ice cream at the shop, cheer him up. I'll be good. I won't have any sweets. I just fancy something different for tea, so I'm going to go look what they've got. Um, there's loads of cars on this road today, what's that about? So, you see this hill over here? You see this hill, people? That is Skipsy Castle. That's how close I live to Skipsy Castle. So I am at some point going to go over there. I'm going to climb the hill. Who thinks I should roll down it? <laughs> Are you messed up, girl? Hey, you. Oh, shit, the bed on my hole. Oh, come here, girl. <laughs> I would as well, you know. So when we first moved down here, I was like, what's that hill? And he's rolled down that hill. Whoa, oh, shit, the bed on my hole. Oh, come here, girl. Because I'm real mature, me. I think it'd be sick rolling down that. <laughs> Might roll down it, we'll see. Who thinks I should roll down it and record it? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. 
if you're the driver in the red Fiesta, I think it was a Fiesta, that just passed me on Bridge Road screaming pews on tour, should have stopped, had to give you a sticker. <laughs> I always have stickers. If you ever see me out and about people, don't be shy, come and ask me, because I've always got stickers. I'm going to go though, because it's a bit windy now. It was alright when I was in the middle of nowhere, get to the village and it's windy. Sabo? I can smell the pub. <laughs> to the <go> pub. <laughs> Boarding guys in Skipsy Village. Really good pub. Fantastic food. One of our very first pub stopovers we did. One of our very first videos we did. Right back there, years ago. <laughs> A year ago. Amazing pub. It does see on the sign, it does food every day. Well, it does when it's open. Because if I'm not mistaken, it's closed Monday and Tuesday, so don't go then. And it's actually free to stay in there, car park in your motorhome, as long as you use the pub for food. So it's a lovely little pub. Just been in Skipsy, let me show you it. Skipsy Village Post Office, posted my letters. And can we see Kit Skipsy Village store? So if you're in Skipsy guys, there's a few caravan sites around here. Staff are amazing, lovely. They do fresh pies and pasties, fresh sandwiches. They've got a coffee machine, everything you need in there. All in one. I've just bought a Chinese for me and got a for tea that I'm gonna cook myself when I get in. And I got Chinese, I got Gareth a load of goodies cause I feel bad for him. So I got him a load of goodies and the Chinese enough for two people, £14. Couldn't even bought one Chinese for £14 people. So it's not even that dear. And with that I got the chips, the chicken and the curry sauce. Fantastic. So I'm right looking forward to my tea now. I might show you me cooking it. Probably not though, because it's all stuffy stick in the oven. <laughs> I'll walk right down there across the road, because if you can see, it's a freeway junction. I can't see around all the bends. <laughs> so I have to walk right down there across one road to cross the other. <laughs> But I crossed it safely, I'm alive. And, by the way, I hear to the guys who will actually work in Skipsy Shop. Thanks for the subscribe and hi. Can you see the sky? I'm almost home. So hopefully, it's not gonna rain until I get home. But it's absolutely gonna piss it down, you can see. Look at it. Look at all that grey cloud! Please don't rain till I get home. <laughs> oh, it's been a nice walk actually. It's not even a 10 minute walk from park as soon as you're down the road. It's nice to get out and have a walk sometimes, isn't it? Hopefully get us asleep still when I get in and I'll put tea on. <laughs> Trisha was here. <laughs> home sweet home. We need a path pole between here and there. I think I'll check to see if I've got any post while I'm here. Well, someone's got post, I don't know if it's us. Oh, that says pew. Pew, pew, Barney McGrew, Cuthbert, Dibble, Grub. I have no clue what it is. It's for Gareth. Not whoever comes in my name. We don't go online. <laughs> I wonder what he's got. No clue. I'll let you know when I get in and open it. It's raining so I'm not opening it now. Look at where my gnomes are living. I positioned him right behind that little spot love so nobody can see his tinky winky. <laughs> Thanks Andrea. And this ladies and gentlemen is why I said I'm not showing you me making tea. Because we're having oven chips, chicken, and Chinese curry sauce. <laughs> Easy as tea, known to mankind. So that's his sophisticated tea. Oh dear, I've had a great, not stressful, but bizarre day. Things are seeing that lay by. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you want me to do a vlog on the weird shit I've seen in the lay by. Gareth's out doing his duties today. <laughs> he's coming, look. He's, made, he's running. <laughs> Nobody could have fed him today. He's having a right run. Has no one fed you, Bob? Oh, Daffy. Uh, you, you call him Daffy, are you? I call him Bob. They're a bit big, them bits. <laughs> Don't stop him. 
Just let you swallow them all. Shut up. I don't, where's the girl? Lisa said she's not seen her today, so I wonder if she, uh, ha eggs are hatching. Maybe sound eggs. Yeah. And I'm no duck expert, but she's definitely got a nest in the area, people. I've been looking for it everywhere, so I can try and find it and show you it. But I can't find it. I think it's in the farmer's field, and I'm not going in the farmer's field. But she's definitely got one in the area, because they're both here, constant. They've been here for two weeks, and there's no water in the area, other than a giant puddle. That's the tales of Daffy today. Also, I've got something to show you all. Give me a minute, let me get in my van and get some natural light in there. So, lovelies, I've just finished reading Mercury and Me by Jim Hutton. If anybody wants it, write Freddie in the comments. We'll draw it out. So I'll post you it if you want it. Just put Freddie in the comments if you'd like it. Celebrity also, News. Can I just give a big shout out to Ewan, who bought me a coffee yesterday on um, Trisha's Motor Madness. Thanks very much. I really appreciate that, mate. Thank you very much. I don't think we've got any other shout-outs, have we, Gareth? Yeah. Have we? Yeah, might as well while you're at it. Celebrity on, News. Lisa oh, yeah. Hi, Lisa. She sent you a, a PayPal donation. Oh, thank you. And uh, she wants a sticker. Oh, uh, fantastic. And she says thanks for the laughs. You're more than welcome, Lisa. I'll have a mooched at shop in a couple of days and get you that posted. Gareth will send me your details over and I'll get all that sorted out for you today. Thank you very much. Afternoon. That's me finished work for a week. So hopefully I'll manage to get you a full vlog out this weekend, guys. I have done vlogging during the week, so this might be a vlog on its own. I don't think it will be, though. So I'm going to go get a shower in a bit. But today, guys, I've taken over the social medias... Well, Facebook. I've taken over the Facebook. We are going to do a questions and answer. So go on the Facebook page. Don't drop me near. Go on the Facebook page and put any questions you want to ask us. I'm only taking them off the Facebook page, guys. Ask us anything. I don't mind. Kind of was like, you can't ask that. Well, of course I can. Go ask me out. Um, so if we don't answer you, it's because we're at work. We will always answer you. Just might be later on in the day. I've got some packages today. So I'm going to open my packages, see what I've got, and then I'm going to go and have a shower. Um, and I'm going to make you a right good vlog this weekend, guys. I'm not going to get drunk. We'll see. <laughs> I'm buzzing, because although my packages were boring. Gloves for work. Got us, um, I need a new red light from my motorhome. My books have come. So I've got Christine Hefner. Because it's meant to be a right good read. So it'd be interesting to see what went on in Playboy Mansion. And I've also got Matthew Perry's life story. Um, he was helped. Lisa Kudrow helped him write this. So don't be watching out for me giving this way because the kids are probably going to want to read it. So it might take a year. <laughs> Every time I pass it around, everyone who wants to read it. So yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to reading that one. But I think I'm going to start with Crystal Hefner. At least I've got something to read now next week at work. I noticed that Alice has gone to a shower. Sorry, I've been on video for a few days. I'm not feeling too good. Well, she's in the shower. Make them fly away. I think you'll notice. Fly, my pretties. Told you they'd flew away. Morning, campers. I'm lucky that it's a bit bright, that sun, isn't it? So I'm up, I'm ready. I'm going to vlog today. I have to, have to go pick up some more stock for the butty van, but I won't take you with me. I'll take you with me, but I won't show you that because that's boring. First of all, I'm going to make um happy cracker bacon sandwich. Look how happy he looks. I said we're going shopping for stock. Well, it's Sunday, right? And the mechanic said he'd come and fix our step on Saturday. And he's not even here. He's from Leeds, he's useless. Yorkshire twat is usual. <laughs> useless. So, unfortunately, a step's still broken, so I can't move. So I still can't go away for the weekend, so we're stuck still on campsite. It's in the best mood ever, as you can tell. So I'm going to go get a bit of stock. Might find something to do, won't we? So I'll take him with me just in case, but I will feed him first. He needs a bacon banjo for he does out. These vlogs aren't getting any good, you know. These vlogs are amazing, I'm in them. I just ignore yeah, but him. it's the same stuff. Is it ignore him. It's not the same stuff, I always put something different in it. He hadn't even attempted to look at the footage I did last week, so he doesn't know that there's other stuff in it. 
because he hadn't looked. He's been too busy uh, making reviews. Hey, can you hear that wind? This is why I haven't been able to make a vlog outside yesterday because. Can you hear it? 45 is... mile an hour wind. And I want to get the barbecue out this weekend. You'd have blown away. You'd have been like Dorothy. Hmm. <laughs> Whipped away to us. <laughs> So yeah, let's see what I can see when we're out and about. Hey, hey Pews on Tour YouTube family. If you're loving the content, here's a quick reminder to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment. Your support means the world to us. I'm just going to show you all how Gareth has his bacon on his sandwich. Look at that, it's still oinking. Just put in the comments below if you'd eat bacon like that, because I will not But I was a good wife and did make him a bacon sandwich. An oinking bacon sandwich. You did eat raw, you boy. That's the way it should be. Does anybody on the butty van have bacon like that? No, they eat it crispy, like a normal person. Crispy bacon all the way. <laughs> Let us know in the comments if you can eat bacon like that. Next time what I'll do is I'll just put him raw bacon in it and see if he eats it. Here, so we had a message of Julie Pickles asking us if we could put some, show some wedding photos. So I've got some out. <laughs> we did just have a registry office wedding, like um, hillbilly style. But we, Gareth will put some photos here. It was the worst day of my life ever. Somewhere, or he'll put some a few photos on. Found some funny ones. They're not professional like, it was just taking off family members because we're hillbillies. <laughs> but there you go. I do look like Princess Fiona in that dress. <laughs> it's a bit windy. Don't think you'll be able to hear me so I'm shouting. <laughs> uh, I've been all the way to Wool for my stock. What windy? Sun shining. Then you come back here. <laughs> And as you can see, it's a tad windy. Fantastic. So, good morning. On this lovely, beautiful day. And I'm all right today, actually. A good day. First time in two weeks. What are you watching? Married at first sight. Janina Maria told me to watch it. Boring. Really? So yesterday we had a lot of wind, it was 45 mile an hour winds yesterday, so I put the legs down and the caravan wasn't even rocking. That was the wind by the way, not us, we've been married too long. Anyway, so that sorted that out, got some mechanic, it's still not here, it is Monday, it's been nearly two weeks now and my step is still knackered. So the problem with this step is, if I get it booked in down into the motorhome, it's going to take over a month and I need to move this motorhome. It's stuck in. I ain't got a clue what I'm doing. I don't know if it's a fuse, don't know if it's what it is, if it's a step. I haven't got a clue. So I need someone to fix it. Also, I need an headlight replacing, well, the bulb. But I believe you have to take all this part and this out and I'm no mechanic. So I'm not doing that either. So that can go to the garage as well. When it gets booked in. Or this mechanic turns up. And it looks like I'm going to end up looking at it myself. I ain't got a clue what I'm going to do. So if there's anybody out there who knows what they're doing. Drop us an inbox will you? Or a message. Or a WhatsApp message or something like that. And uh, you can come and fix it or I'll bring it to you. Because... Uh, sick of waiting now and by the way if you had a proper garage I could do with an MOT as well because that's due next month might as well get a job lot done in money if you're in interested also my horn don't work so I don't know what's wrong with that so that needs fixing as well don't work for about six months <laughs> I need to get these such things done but we haven't had the weather it's been in England I've been poorly the weather's been bad and also can I just mention thank you, thank you, thank you very, very much for all the messages you've sent to Tricia asking about me. 
uh, about my health and things like that and if I'm okay and that um, I've only come on now to say it because I'm having a good day uh, not stoned out of my head I suppose you'll see somewhere in the past videos that I will be stoned but that's the medication to stop these cluster headaches until uh, basically I get the old go ahead from the uh, butcher aka the hospital for an operation seeing as there's a, a big lump inside my eyeball I don't know if it's a tumour I don't know if it's a cyst I don't know if it's the big C word I ain't got a clue all I know I've had my second MRI I'm just waiting a phone call and results to I don't know what I guess get booked in or something I don't know still waiting Anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And even the cards that have come through with posts. Thank you very much to the old and the new subscribers. I guess time to win the video here, innit? Thank you for the people that have bought the coffees and all the new Patreons that have uh, joined us. Um, if anybody don't know what buy a coffee is, it's just buy us a coffee and we'll get you a beer. Or we'll give you a shout out. Thank you very much and we'll catch you later.